Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to design a multi artboard project in Adobe Illustrator. In previous uh, video I showed you how to set up the multi artboard project for the stationary package. So we do have a um, document here with four artboards, one for letterhead, one for the envelope, and one for the double sided business card and what you see here is the design that we're going to do it's a beautiful design we have designed the logo in another video uh, you've seen that um, this file is provided for you you can download the logo and place it here and uh, what we're going to do is to analyze the start and the end process and also we're going to talk about um, how to simplify the project so as you as you may notice here uh, there are a lot of repeating items in order to keep the branding consistent. So what, what you really need to do is to start with one artboard first, finish it, and then take the um, elements from there and copy and paste it in other artboards to make sure the branding is intact. Uh, we usually start from, design after designing the logo, we start um, designing the letterhead itself. So what we have here, we place the logo, um, we have the company information here on top right, there's some placeholder text, and we have some graphics in the bottom. Uh, let's start with placing the uh, logo itself. So what I've done here uh, in, in this particular project, I have the logo placed draw some guidelines I've placed it right here so it's about an inch away from the left side about a half an inch from the right side okay I'm going to copy this one and bring it here before I place the logo I would like to draw my guidelines so let's go to the letterhead draw guidelines in order to do that we need to go to v, uh, to view rulers show rulers and also I would like to keep everything organized so on the letter on the layers uh, we rename this layer 1 to letter head and we will do the design here all right so if the zero of the rulers are not right on the corner of top left corner of the letterhead what you can do is you can grab and drag the zero point to here so now you see it's lining up beautifully zero zero now I need a couple of guidelines I'm gonna drag it from here to one and I need one here for half there you go so these are my margins and I'm going to paste the logo here and align it right up there Another thing I need to keep in mind is the fact this uh, guideline, we have the horizontal guideline, is a good guideline uh, to allow me to line up the logo, the top of the logo with the text that's going to be sitting here, the company information. But I would like to have a um, guideline here as well. So we're going to draw another guideline or let's say about one inch from the right side as well. Um, I have typed this already so I'm just going to copy and paste it but you know how to create text boxes you can just pick up the T tool click and drag and then type the company information what I have here is an address and um, the company website and email address so this is all hypothetical the, this company doesn't exist obviously and it's just a placeholder text and for the body of the text as well I'm going you can simply pick up the T tool and click and drag to put some text in here and style it again I've done this already so I'm not gonna waste your time we do have several videos about 
styling text so I'm not going to go over all that I just am going to copy this one and paste it here and make sure it beautifully lines up within the margins there you go hey the next time the next thing that we're going to pay attention to is the graphics here in the bottom um, I've basically used a series of triangles I used the pen tool to draw this and I randomly added some colors um, to this so we can just take a look at it I, I'm, I am going to copy this one uh, okay I will bring it here and show you how to reproduce it uh, let's pick up the pen tool and I'm going to start from the bottom it doesn't have to be exactly the same but it's going to be somewhat similar so click 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 and click I will click on the eye button for eyedropper I will sample the color switch to the pen tool again now I'm gonna go here do this one again press I and sample press P for pen and we're gonna have one little triangle on the corner as well again sample the color so you see it's a really simple and yet beautiful uh, graphic here in the bottom and um, we're going to continue drawing I'm gonna do one more triangle here sample the color back to the P tool again sample the color P tool and this is going to be the last triangle well it's a polygon indeed and there you have it I'm going to get rid of this one I do not need my guidelines anymore if your guidelines are locked you can right click here and unlock them and get rid of them I will keep this one though because I would like to put some information here on my business card so there you go uh, this is the finished product and is this is the one we just created so all you need to do from here forward is to do some copy and pasting so I'm going to um, go to the layers create a new layer and call it business card front all is going to be sitting here is the logo so I will go here click and drag with the selection tool press control C or command C to copy it then I'm gonna come here and paste it here yeah if you see, yeah you, you see I made a mistake here uh, I have to go back to the business card front and paste it there and there you go now it's sitting in this layer okay if you move it around it will automatically align it to the center which is great um, this part is done now I'm going to create another layer and call it business card back uh, I would like to copy this information the company information and paste it here so let's go back select this layer and paste now it's sitting right here um, I would like to line it up this way and also we need to type the name of the person I'm just going to 
look what we have here. We have Brian Smith. Okay, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Again, it's just text, and I'm sure you can do this on your own, no problem. So there you have it. We've got Brian Smith, executive director, and here I have the company information as well. Uh, we do need that graphic we drew here in the bottom left corner, so I'm just going to go grab that with the selection tool I'm gonna click and drag to select the whole thing uh, you can press control G or command G uh, to group this now they become one item then copy it going back to business card back here in the layers panel and paste it obviously it's too big I'm going to resize it and place it here in the bottom all right so there you go. You see how quickly we're moving here. I have one last thing to design and that's the envelope. Let's go to layers panel and be organized. So create another new layer, call it envelope. While this is selected, I'm going to paste that graphic here as well and place it in the bottom left corner. Also we need the logo and the company information. I'm going to borrow the logo from here, so copy, go back to the envelope layer, paste, I'm going to place it right there, and I'm going to get the company information from here, and again, switch back to envelope layer, and paste it there. And that's how easy it is. As you see, all we needed to do is to set up the multi-page artboard project and then design one and the rest of it is basically copy and paste so that's all there is to it I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching